fiberglass time. Here we have bulkhead insulation panel. It's really unstable, so I tried super gluing it, but that didn't work because it's too fragile. So I've gone over all the cracked areas with um, aluminium tape. The plan is to lay a thin layer of um, fiberglass chop strand on top, and then um, that will form the new panel. I was originally going to take a mold off that, create um, a new part inside the mold, but I think that's overkill. Just going to make a thin skin copy of the front surface, take that off, and then um, prep that to take foam on the back, and then that should be my um, new panel. Fingers crossed that works. Now I've got all the alley tape on, I'm using wax, just antique table wax uh, as a kind of mold release agent. I'm going to go over the top of that with some proper PVA mold release agent. I make it clear I'm by no means an expert in fiberglassing. I've just taken some advice off a friend, Alan, who's really good at this sort of stuff and I'm going to do what he's told me. Uh, here I have my gold roast fiberglass resin and we have my um, cat or catalyst, which is also a type of coffee, interestingly. Uh, gonna mix those up and then lay on my chopped strand, work it in with a roller and a brush. That's not a proper fiberglassing roller, by the way, that is literally just something I bought in the DIY shop. Um, but yeah, fingers crossed it all goes okay. Right, driver's side is curing. I'm just prepping the passenger side now. Um, this one's not so bad, but it still needs plenty of reinforcement and a bit of wood to sort of hold one end up. I'm blocking up all these holes and then I'll cut them out after. As I say, this is a complete experiment, so God knows what's gonna happen when I finished. But um, yeah, fingers crossed, I can sand that weave down so it gives a reasonably smooth finish and then um, stick some foam on the back, paint it black, jobs are good. Round two complete. That one's just curing now. This is the one I did earlier. I've marked up where to cut with a black marker. Um, finish is gonna be rough until I've nipped it back, but hopefully the um, texturized bumper paint I'm gonna put on it will cover most of that. If not, I can always cover it in a vinyl fabric of some sort. I'll pop that out later to actually see what I've ended up with. Hopefully it comes off.